Alejandro Kwan, who has hired some Chinese workers to farm his land trust lease property, told PNC News two weeks ago that he pays his workers $8 an hour but lets them work out their own taxes. How much are you paying them an hour? $8 an hour. You're paying them $8 an hour? And I have an record. And are you, have you filed all of the paperwork that you need to file with See, the Department of Labor See, to have these that, Chinese laborers here? Are that, they that, H2 that, workers? That, no, I don't know. That I don't know. All I know is that I am employing them, I'm paying them, and then I pick them to file taxes. It's up to them to file taxes. Okay. But what's However, the that is not what the H2 law workers. requires. The law requires that the farmer or any employer must assign an employee identification or EIN number, and that employer then must deduct from his employee's pay the FICA or withholding taxes that goes to Revin Tax. You had one farmer who said he had these guys, he was paying them $8 an hour. When you asked him about, well, what about uh, their work permits? What about their uh, the Social Security? Well, he, he was unaware. He says it's their responsibility. Actually, it's the employer's responsibility, as I understand it. We'll Dr. Barber was the project manager for the cooperative compliance labor. team but that inspected Kwan's land trust lease and others. He is also an agricultural economist at UOG. Kwan's case is an extreme example of a lease in severe noncompliance and it's cases like Kwan's and others that prompted Barber to organize a forum at UOG tonight to cover the issue of Guam labor laws for farmers. So tonight is being sponsored by the Guam Farmers Cooperative Association. They're the ones who are actually going to help us with the funding of the trainers and the other. From 6 to 7 tonight, we'll have a speaker, Dr. Kerry Perez, from the business school, be talking on labor issues in relation to small business. And farms are small businesses. It's important, says Barber, for CLTC leaseholders to know because their leases are in jeopardy if they don't follow Guam labor laws. If you are not following Guam labor law or national, you know, the labor law of our land, you would then be violating the terms of your lease. And so it's very important that we, it, we provide educational programs. And I'm grateful that the co-op is willing to help us in doing this because we've got so many issues we have to conduct trainings over the next few months on. The trainings that should have been done a decade ago, but now we've identified the needs and we're going to start on it now. Meanwhile, in related news, Kwan's lease was also cited for encroaching onto federal land because he is growing crops on a federal easement provided for the flight path into Anderson Air Force Base. Today, Anderson Air Force Base spokesman Captain Tim Lundberg said the Air Force would examine the issue to see whether there has been an intrusion onto federal property, and if so, respond accordingly. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.